Welcome back, folks, to the live stream from the NAED. That's the National Association of Electrical Distributors. South Central Region Conference. I always have to look over there to see that. 2020 <laughs> South Central Region Conference. Austin, Texas. Austin, Texas. And we want to tell you quickly about The Rock. Keystone Tech. Go to keystonetech.com. That's K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H.com. Baby. That's light made easy to retrofit kings. Often in, imitated, never duplicated. The Rock. Smell what the rock is cooking. <laughs> you can keep going with this if you want. <laughs> Scott Costa, thanks for coming on. Oh, thank you guys. And, I, you know, I'm really, I can't tell you how happy I am to be in business with you guys, to be, to be able to do stuff with you guys, have a relationship. Quid pro quo, man. It's a, but you know what? Sure. It's, a, it's a great relationship. I, I, you know, I'm not trying to sound really mean here, but I've gotten rid of writers and gotten rid of things that I've done before. And, and you guys have been great. And I, you know, I launched a web, I'm ranting now, but no. I launched a website called Lighted, um, yeah. you know, and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to put on it or how it's going to work. And, and, and Josh Brown got in touch with me from Keystone Lighting yeah. um, and yep. said, you really need to get in touch with Greg and Michael and, and talk about, uh, you know, having them put their podcast on your web. You guys helped me launch a website. I mean, no, there's no two, you two ways around a podcast. Man. You know what? I'll so, tell you, the yeah. Lights Head Online video show. So we, the Get a Grip Online peaked in September and the mm -hmm. number 39 on Apple's technology podcasts. Mm -hmm. Like that's monster. Oh, I know. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. Okay. Think about how many are out there. But, yeah. but that doesn't include the Lights Head Online video show. Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. So the Lights Head Online video show is, is as popular as the podcast. What does that tell you? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you added those two things, and the second thing is like Light Head is really just Greg and I riffing off each other for five or 10 minutes. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not but a guess. Great stuff. Yeah. Great stuff. I think some of our best stuff's on Light Head. Great oh, stuff. For sure. Yeah. It's most enjoyable a lot of times. Yeah. 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 Just a quick hot blast. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Exactly. That's, yeah, yeah. And that's what I, that's why what drew me to you guys is doing that stuff. So yeah, that's, it's awesome. been great. Greg, I, Greg, remember, I remember when we, when we were in the restaurant, I think it was in Chicago a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, we'll do one a week or something like that. And Greg's yeah. like, oh God, how are we going to do it? We're going to do one a week. <laughs> now look at you. And, and now we're doing eight a month. Eight a month. Yeah. Plus, yeah. So it's, it's been a good ride. Yeah. But you came over here about five or 10 minutes ago, right? When we were interviewing Rocky mm -hmm. on the last one. And you, and you said that, um, light and builds canceled or postponed. Yeah. Postponed. That's crazy. Till September. I was just, and I was just saying, like, when is that? That's three weeks. It's supposed to be three weeks from now or two weeks from now. You book your flight, you book your hotel, yeah, yeah. you book your, how many people are going to be? Call your insurance company, bud. Well, good luck. But the other part is this, and, I, and Greg and I were talking about this. It's, you know, I planned a product launch around yeah. trade show season. Sure. And now this one isn't happening. So what do I do? Take this back to the trade show when they reschedule it in what, September? Yeah. It's like, hey, look at my product that's six months old. All right. I mean, you know, this is this, some people plan around these things. And that's it's really a tough situation with postponing this thing. And so, you know, shout out to my team back home, by the way. Uh, you know, Nikki Heron, my online editor, Marie Jekyll, yep. who's my uh, editorial assistant, assistant. They announced that postponement this morning. We had this on our website this morning yeah it's what we do first sure. we do. people need to know about this stuff awesome. so um you know shout, shout out to them if hopefully they're watching or hopefully yeah. they're working they better not be watching <laughs> um you know but that's you know it's this is important information that we need to get out to folks on a rate the stuff you do yeah. it's important information we need to get out to folks and so you know there's a lot of value to this 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 digital news uh, that we're able to sure. create because folks need sure. to know stuff that's happening today and that's sure. that's what we provide so you know and, and you know it's interesting is that um is that Lighthead is is really a hub in a way, mm -hmm. it, you know? It's and I'm just gonna say it like it's a different flavor than Edison Report. It's a it's a different flavor. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah, you and know, that's not knocking. Uh, no, Randy no, and Randy's Edison. great. We love well, Randy. I, yeah. I do too. Yeah. I yeah. met him for the first time a couple of weeks ago. I think he's spectacular. Yeah, I, I know. say that publicly to his face, private. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, he's a great guy. And and you know, I mean, but Lighthead's got its own flavor. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I, you know, I enjoy going to the website. I think you've done a fantastic job. So that's enough of kissing each other's asses. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> let's, but so we let's, should, well, let's talk about this part of it though. And this is, I, I think it's important that we, we throw this out there. Michael and Greg have, have, have written some columns and done some podcasts for us that have been a little bit, uh, not well received. I think it's probably the best way to put it. Yeah. Uh, you know, the three China stories that you yeah, did, which sure, the China talk, question. About, talk about into, you know, coming into play today. That's with, full blown gonzo journalism. It, was, it might be exactly time for it. It might be, it might be time for a China question part five. Let's talk. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, well, it might be that. time because you know, mm -hmm. th those articles, um, like I'm not going to say that they, they're not beyond light Ted, 
they're kind of framed within the lighting industry, right. but there's a social commentary flowing under in through them. Absolutely agree. Absolutely agree with that. And I think if you didn't catch, you know, the way that, uh, you know, companies in China are treating their employees with, you know, guys molting metal with sandals on yeah, and sure. the air is so <laughs> thick and the water can't be, you know, drunk and then we can go yeah. on from there. But sure. it's amazing how, you know, how lighting is manufactured uh, and, and sent to this country, the way people are treated there and, and the way you described it, um, you know, had some dirty words in it and sure. had some, uh, you know, had some real sort of grab you by the collar gonzo journalism yeah. to it. And, and we, you know, took a flyer on it. I took a flyer on it and said, yeah, you know, after I read it, I'm like, this is good. We can post it. And again, Nikki, my online editor, looked at me like, you sure you want to post this? So I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, let's do it. And some other stuff we did, we did the, you know, the stuff on um, uh, non-compete clauses, yep. you know, and what that means. You yeah. know, I lived in a world where I was under a non-compete clause of my own while I was enforcing non-compete clauses against other people. And so, you know, I understand. And, and some people didn't, you know, Take it so great, you know, yeah. obviously writing a story like that. And I understand their side of it. I understand that, you know, you train people and you want them to stay. And, and I get, the, you know, I'll take the heat on that. That's yeah. okay. Go ahead and bring it. I understand sure. your perspective on it. And, but you know, it's what we're going to do. You know, it's, it's, these are real issues out there. There's, you know, there's employees out there that want to know where their lighting comes from. There's, there's, there's employees out there that want to know what the real validity, validity yeah. of being under a non-compete is and, 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 you know, what the value of it is. So, and if you don't like it, take the time to write your own article. Absolutely. And I'll take it. I'd yeah, love yeah. to see it. And we'll, we'll certainly post those too. I mean, it's yeah, not, just, you know, it's not a completely wide open forum where it's like, Hey, I got to, you know, I want to complain about something. So post this online or no, take your down. time, yeah. sit down, write an article. Yeah, absolutely. Opinion yeah. pieces aren't right or wrong. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 But I appreciate so it. It's this, this COVID 2019 thing. Okay. It's a flu. You think? Yes. Oh, it's, it's called the flu. flu. Yeah, it is the flu. I okay. Agree. So you eat, you eat a ferret badger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> or a bat. Why? Or something like that. Right, right. Like, first thing, why are you eating a ferret, a ferret badger? badger. Well, okay. That's what they did. So you're eating right. exotic animals. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, you're making stews with them or whatever, and you get mm -hmm. sick. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now the government of China locks down a province which has twice the population of Canada. Right. Mm hmm. 60 million people sure. in Hunan mm -hmm. and or Hainan or Hunan. I can't remember the name of the province, but it's Wuhan is the big city. Wuhan is the city. Right. Right. So they locked down the whole problem. They would never be able to lock down Iowa. No, they would never do that. Right. Exactly. Like, like, you couldn't do, do that. that. Yeah. So, but the, you know, um, I think what, you know, a couple thousand people have died. Right. Old people, young pe children, mm -hmm. people that are sick already died. Right. Just like the flu. I agree. I think my, and I, I don't disagree it's a flu. with the point. It is a flu. How I think the concern is the percentage of people who get the virus that are dying is higher than the percentage of people. No, it's in the not. Yeah, it is. It's much higher. No, it's not. It's like, it's like three or 4% higher. Yeah. It's much higher. The number of the percentage of people in the United States, way the more people died die, of the flu. Oh, more people. I'm not saying that the, the raw numbers are yes. More are you saying it's, it's more infectious. But or the more? Right. But sure. once I get it, the death rate is a higher percentage than the death rate from the number of people who get the flu in the United States or other places. So that I think is what their concern was. Uh, is it over concern? Again, you know, wash your hands and don't eat bats and whatever. And there's probably smart. <laughs> yeah, ways let, to let's avoid start with fish. let's avoid the ferret badger. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I mean, there's salad. Ways, yeah, there's smarter ways to avoid. I think getting. I sick think you can get a ferret badger rich. taco downstairs <laughs> if you want. They have the street tacos down <laughs> the road here. Ferret badger. Yeah, it's fantastic. Bat. But bat I mean, wing tacos. But, yeah. but the concern was just, I think, the quote unquote deadliness uh, in terms of the percentage of people. And I, you know what, it, what do you do? You know, if you're a, if you're a, a company and, and whatever, you're based in the United States and, and whatever, people get an infection, you know, what are you going to do as that company? Are you going to tell people, don't worry about it, just come to work. We know the place has, you know, it's raining bacteria in here, but that's okay. You won't get sick. I mean, you're, you're stuck in this bad situation as a government of saying, I guess we need to protect people. And the percentage is whatever, three or 4% higher based on the death rate, you know, based on the number of people who get it. And I think it's kind of an overreaction, but the overreaction is impacting all of us. It is. Uh, it's been a real problem. And I think we're facing, you know, a shortage of a lot of, in our industry lighting products, certainly. But I think there's we're looking at it, some serious shortages coming up because we depend so heavily on this region, mm. you know, to provide so much for this. And you've said in the past, on, I think it's, you know, on the lighted online video show, you guys have said, 
you know, at some point, you know, with a little bit of AI and a little bit of automation and a little bit of innovation, you know, there's probably stuff we can be manufacturing here in the United States. We just choose not to. Yeah, and I've, I've talked you know? to a manufacturer that we've had on the show. I won't name him today, uh-huh. but travels to China all the time. He's basically shut down from going there. Yeah. So he, he ordered a, a pile of, of flat panels. Yeah. And he's just like, I'm going to stock these up because everybody up. else yeah. is running out. Well, and yeah, I'm going to have them. I don't know if that's true or not, but, you know. The Olympics are headed to Tokyo. Who knows if that's going to happen? Forget about, you know, L&B. You know, how long is this goofiness going to go on for? I've heard now it's in Italy. Okay, so, okay. So we have MERS, Middle East Respiratory yeah. Syndrome. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got Zika. Yeah. We got the bat flu from Wuhan. SARS. SARS. Yeah. SARS. yeah. Okay. You know, the, the message of fear and loathing is, uh, you know, I, I you yeah, know, yeah. be afraid. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, you know, they're eating. I, th- I think it's like, I think part of the, 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 um, there's almost like a conspiracy. Okay. Between the media. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, you know, the public and that conspiracy goes something like this. Uh, I'm not going to tell you anything unless I frame it in a way that makes it seem much scarier or whatever than it actually is yep right so what is this flu from china it's got to do with eating bats (laughs) ferret badgers so yeah and it's from a place called wuhan yeah it's like it it starts to sound like it really yeah and you've never been there before and you don't even know what's going on oh and the whole thing's on lockdown and you know the (laughs) president xi jinping is showing leadership for the chinese people and it's like it's a flu dude it's I called agree. the flu i don't disagree with that it's a bat flu maybe it's bat shit i don't know yeah, what it is right. <laughs> no you I, know but it's but that's you know you got to be smart with your media now we're on a completely separate rant mm-hmm. you, you got to be smart with your media and, and again i've lived in media my whole life when I, when I was 18 years old i was i was working in media and you know uh, you see this all the time i see it all the time you know there, you watch the weatherman on your local news and he says you know is it going to snow this weekend? I'll tell you, but you got to watch two minutes and 30 seconds worth of commercials. Sure. Then you watch two minutes and 30 minutes, seconds worth of commercials. He comes out and he goes, no, it's not going to snow this weekend. Sure. Cause like, <laughs> I hate when that happens, you know, but that's what they do. They're looking for the angle to keep you engaged. And, and you know, you, it's a hook. You have to, yes. You have to find the percentage of what's true about this virus and what's hype about this virus and make some smart decisions about what you're going to do from here. Unfortunately, the hype has led us to short supply for a lot of our district. I mean, you guys are lighting distributors for crying out loud. What do you, I haven't had any it, issues how getting you product yet. I haven't not had, yet. Not okay. yet. Okay. I've heard, you know, the potential of it, but I haven't had any issues. Yeah. Yeah. We've I seen think some... I sneezed the other day. <laughs> <laughs> well, it can't be transmitted on a box. Zika. So you're okay. Yeah. So We're you're talking okay getting product, not getting sick. Oh, yeah, getting yeah, sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, you know, what we learned on the light Ted online video show is that Scott Costa, you have to find the truth. Yes. By comparing the lies. Yeah. Good point. Yeah. Go back to the rock, folks. Keystone Technologies. <laughs> we go to K E Y S T O N E T E C H dot com. They don't lie. They just supply. Keystone Tech dot com, baby. That's Josh right. Brown. The Rock. Yeah. Josh Brown. Hashtag coming out hot from the NAD NAED South Central Regional Conference. Thank God they wrote it on the wall over there. <laughs> <laughs> and to you, the listeners out there, all you people that are liking our social media feeds and all that sort of stuff. Super grateful. Without you, we're nothing. Thanks again. Bye for now.